So let's do um, one of these uh, equilibrio of acid base buffer system. So um, this one says calculate the pH of an acetic acid buffer solution consisting of 0 0.50 molar acetic acid and 0 0.50 molar sodium acetate. Okay? So when we do this, we've got to remember the reaction equation. Okay? So on these, since we're doing Ka, put the S first. Okay? So CH3 And then it reacts with water. We have a CH3COO minor plus. Okay, like that. Is everybody okay with doing that one? Okay, I stable. But look here what we've done now. Original concentration or initial concentration of both of them is 0.5. Okay? So instead of putting a zero over here like we normally have done, we're going to put a 0.5. Okay? So 0 0.50, 0 0.50, like that. This one is still zero. This is minus x plus x plus x like this. Zero point five zero minus minus x. Zero point five zero plus x x. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. Can we use the five percent rule on this one? Give me an answer. Tell me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we can, right? Why? So we have a small number here, okay? So since we can use the 5% rule, what can we do? Get rid of that x there and get rid of that x. Okay, so it really helps out. So now we have to remember, well, what is Ka, the equation for? Let's figure that out. Okay. So Ka equals... Let's rearrange it to figure out the H3O plus concentration. Okay. Like that. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So now we can just plug in, right? This would be x. Ka we've got, and we've got this and this. So remember, what did I say, Lynn? This and this are the same concentration, right? Our buffer capacity is the best. Okay? So um, let's just plug these values in. So 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.50. Well, this cancels with that, right? Everybody sees that? So when you've got these two concentrations equivalent, right, <coughs> your hydronium concentration equals your Ka or your pH equals your pKa. Okay. So in this case, it would be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. Okay. And then to figure out the pH, the negative log of that number. Is everybody OK with that one?
Okay? Can everybody do a problem like this? Okay, wonderful. We're going to now see what happens when we add some base to this thing. Okay, so we'll kill it, this one, and then redo this problem with base being added. Okay? Any questions on this one?